Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can do the sheet operations within Tableau. So when I say sheet operations, what I basically mean is, uh, you know, adding a new sheet, duplicating a sheet so that you don't have to do the same effort, you know, like this, we have added, uh, you know, rows and columns, colors and stuff like that. You don't have to do it again and uh, you are able to basically preserve whatever work you have done and do some incremental uh, work on that so apart from that uh, you can create blank sheet and all so it's pretty easy within tableau because you can go to this option over here down and the new worksheet option comes where you can click and a new blank worksheet will come to you and then you can start drawing or start creating the uh, the charts and uh, in, you know graphics based on this uh, show me tab apart from this what you can do as i mentioned that uh, you can preserve or you can get all of your work and do incremental work on the existing sheet so for example you can right click on this sheet and you can click on duplicate so once you duplicate it then you can get the same sheet and you can add or remove new columns format it or you know make it much more interactive which can be an incremental to the previous sheet like this after this you if you want to rename this uh, you can double click on the sheet and give a new name sales versus profit new like this apart from that if you have uh, the requirement that you need to arrange the sheets then you can do it by dragging so click on any sheet and drag it down to any location so here i have i am dragging it down near to 44 cast or left to 44 cast and i'm releasing my cursor so a mouse button then sales versus profit is coming here so you can just drag it and put it anywhere you want and you can take the sheet back and forth as per your needs after this uh, what you can do is you can if you have a requirement that uh, you want to duplicate the sheet but you don't want the graphic but maybe want the cross tabular information then a direct option is given right click on the sheet and say duplicate as cross tab so once you click on duplicate as cross tab the information will come in a cross tabular format like a pivot table uh, of excel and you can get uh, the same you know the view without doing much of an effort after this uh, as you can see there are other options like uh, exporting renaming we have already seen you can delete the sheet and here also you can create a new sheet apart from this you have the option of giving a sheet color so for example let's give it a blue so what it basically why you would really like to do that is because uh, you want to differentiate between the sheets uh, which are indicating different purpose so for example uh, within a sales organization like this where we are creating sales versus profit and all we have uh, you know different sub teams so for example uh, you may have sales by channel so all of the things that you are doing or different sheets that you are creating sales by different channel you can have a different color like blue in this case or a dark blue uh, let's say if you have a uh, sales uh, which is kind of uh, or maybe like renewal or maybe like repeat orders you want to do an analytics on that and uh, you know give a different color and uh, third thing is you have created a uh, you know different types of charts let's say for example uh, here in this case some advanced analytics stuff and you want to give a different color with let's say green then you want to differentiate it so that whenever your user is viewing or you yourself is viewing then by just looking at the sheet color the tab color you can basically see what kind of information that sheet contains so that's the use of uh, color in your sheets after this what you can do is uh, uh, within the worksheet you have the option of describing the sheet so i wanted to just show you because this i sometimes find really really helpful so if i click on describe sheet or press ctrl e so let's click over here 
it gives us a very good formatted summary about what are all the things that has uh, that we have done for example profit and sales broken down by order date year marks is the mark type is taxed automatic shelves so rows columns filters and uh, text based on that what is present in rows what is present in columns and then down there you have the information of dimension you have the information of measure so for documentation purpose it's really helpful that for each of the sheet you don't really have to go in and look at the information but this is directly given to you and you can just go ahead and click on uh, the describe sheet or control e press control e and get information to you so that's that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the new video new topic